Zustände gab. Und, und, ja. äh, das ist die Idee in Amerika, es ist deshalb wichtig, weil... I think our unique contribution to this story of deep brain stimulation for major depression is that we involve the human reward system. That we looked at structures of the reward system based on the theory that reward is not working properly in depression, is dysfunctional, leads to anhedonia. And we started a couple of years ago by simulating the nucleus accumbens, a key structure of the reward system. And we were able to demonstrate rather good results. 50% of all patients included responded positively, absolutely on par with other deep brain simulation studies. All these studies which have been published today show about a 50% response rate, which given the remarkable severity of depression in these patients is astonishing. But then Volker Koenen and I sat together and thought about what was the other 50%? Would there be a possibility to help more patients? And we thought about the anatomy of, of the reward system and there's the nucleus accumbens and the medial forebrain bundle projects directly in the nucleus accumbens and we thought why not go a step deeper and get at fibers of the medial forebrain bundle properly. That's not an easy task to do. You need special imaging techniques to really uh, show the, the medial forebrain bundle. But Dr. Kernan was able to solve that problem and we embarked on a really small study with seven, now eight patients, and had really astonishing results. Astonishing, first of all, in the fact that many more patients responded Practically all of the patients responded, but even more interesting, they responded in a very rapid way. Within days, they had an improvement. And normally in, in uh, deep brain stimulation studies, you see an improvement after a month, but not after two days. And this opens really a Pandora's box of really interesting question, what is depression about? What are these processes which lead to a rapid change in depression? And if we systematically explore these possibilities, this might lead to novel conceptualizations of antidepressant therapies, which then again might uh, benefit many more patients. We are cognizant of the fact that this is a rather small number of patients, but the astonishing uh, effect size uh, made it possible to publish this paper in Biological Psychiatry, a widely read and reputed American psychiatric journal. Um, and the paper is going to publish exactly today. And we were very happy to obtain funding and ethical approval for a follow-up study where we look at these effects in, the ran in a randomized control design.